morning, top of the 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 morning, hold on. Hey, what's good, y'all? My name is Kikin in it, but y'all can call me KK for short. And today, we got our boy Baby Keem with the Melodic Blue. This album, I've, I've been really anticipating this joint. Freaking Baby Keem's been on a roll, you know, having like freaking Family Ties single come out with Kendrick on it, bruh. Cause you know, Kendrick is cousin, Family Ties, and freaking being on um, um on freaking Donda. This man, this man is on a roll, so shoot, bruh. It adds hype to his album. But yeah, bro, I'm excited to listen to this. I don't know what to expect. But let, let, let's just let's just get into it, bro. Let's, let's get into the album. Track one. Trademark USA. Wrong song. I can't help but feel neglected. Changing up the schedule, your calendar refreshing. Time passes, mm. we move on. Nobody says shit. It just, it just, it just comes in like that. It's just, he just, it's just automatically, he just start rapping. Like, okay. Just to get some neck and some necklaces. What's next? More turbulence. Ooh. Just to get, uh, just get some neck and some necklaces. What's next? Like, ooh, three ne Ooh, okay, Keem, okay. What's the same? Trademark on that pussy. Trademark in my brand new bitch. Yeah, duh. Hold up, blood. Hold up, cup. Hold up, sis. Ooh. Ooh, got the ASMR flow. Uh, okay, I don't know what's happening, but okay. What the fudge? What is up with all these beat switches, bro? Why do they all sound so good? What What is this, the fourth beat? I Like, what the freak? Bruh. Oh, let me take off my glasses. <clears throat> what the fudge is this intro? This nigga went all out. That was freaking amazing, bro. There was like four change-ups in one freaking song. Like... I was not expecting that, bruh. He was flowing and the, just the amount of change, it just, the, the track was, wow, I, 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 I. <laughs> track two, <laughs> pink panties. Uh, okay. I'm still dumbfounded from freaking track one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know how I feel about this part. I don't, I don't know if I like it. Okay, I don't, I'm not, I don't think I really rock with that one. Especially following freaking Trademark USA. It's not really all that cool. It, it might grow on me a little bit. Maybe I have to give him more listens, but I mean, he was riding the beat though. He was talking about, he had some interesting like lines in there, but you know, eh, eh. Track three, um, scapegoats. Ooh, I think I heard this in um the trailer that he um released. Bro, where is Fetty Wap, bro? Fetty Wap, where are you, bro? Haven't seen you since 2015. Where have you been? He dropped off the face of the earth. Golly. That's not, that was that was really nice. He was really speaking his mic. Just, just speaking that real, bro. And just, you know, has some really interesting lines in there. You know, talking about like stuff that's like our escape codes is like little escape from, you know, the harsh realities of the world or what stresses him out. You feel me? I hope that last part sequences into the next track, which is. Um, track four, Range Brothers with Kendrick Lamar. I hope that's the beat. This junk is five minutes, dang. I heard some snippets of like Kendrick doing some weirdness. I don't know, I think this is the song. Okay. 
Let's find some distorted parts. Okay. Okay. What the hell? Maybe you sound like a <laughs> You sound like the biggest nerd. I don't know. <laughs> I need a girlfriend. What the heck is that? You sound like a robotic um poindexter. What's going on? Got two phones and I don't know who to trust. How many times are you gonna talk about two phones? <laughs> Come on, that freaking squeaking this again. This sounds this sounds great. What? Bro, the freaking violin's going crazy in the background. What the frick is like, you, bro, are you freaking, are you serious? It's production. Me for me. Ooh. Hold on, bro. He just come in. I was not expecting him to just come in like that. But Kendrick, let me be prepared first. Let me, like, know you're coming. Pause. Ooh. Ooh. This is so freaking dope. They're, they're going in. I love this right now. Oh my gosh. Range Brothers, bro. Hey. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's top of the morning. Top of the <laughs> this is the clip. What the fudge? Where did this even come from? But they have some dope chemistry, bro. I'm scared of what. What is this, bro? This is this is a snippet now. Top of the morning. 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 Hold on. What? What? Hot. What? <laughs> what the heck am I hearing? What is this nigga Kendrick doing, bro? <laughs> Rover gang. Like, what is going on? I'm with my Rover brother and we're running gang. Hey, Rain Rover. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. I... <laughs> I, I I have no words. Freaking Trucker Keem and Trucker Kendrick. I don't I How did how did the beginning of the song sound like? <laughs> I can't get up what? What did I just hear? Track five <laughs> Issues Y'all both got some issues. I don't know what y'all... Bro. Track five. I like this. This instrumental sounds beautiful. I feel like I want to play Donkey Kong Country right now, bro. Oh my god. This, I assume with the little ding ding ding. This production, are you serious? I don't know about these sounds right now. What is happening? Don't ruin this beautiful beat for me. This production, do you hear this? Absolutely beautiful song. Just that, just nice aquatic and ambient, a Congo, jungle-esque beat donkey kong country-esque beat like oh my god this jungle is beautiful man i just love the laying within it not the freaking weird vocal effects that was layered in there that, that kind of ruined the experience for me kind of like took me out of it a little bit but i like how personal he was getting and just you know talking about different like issues within like his family and within himself or like you know just stuff that's built in like inside of him you know nice track six Gorgeous. Going, going, gorgeous. Independent straight out the 
Okay. Ooh, I don't know about that one. This sounds so spacious and so atmospheric. Uh, is that a piano? Bro, this, this album is so weird so far. It's so weird. It's so weird. But, like... I love it. That was a nice track. It was weird, but like the production, I thought saw the evolution within the production. It, that was a nice track, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Track seven, South Africa. Hey. Okay. 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 That was that was a nice track, bro. This I'm telling you, baby King just be weird. What are these bulk complexions? Bro. <laughs> track eight, Lost Souls. Okay, I like this. Hey. Very um sweet and kind of sparkly space vibe. Uh. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hmm. Uh. You're still saying two phones? Hey. That was a nice chill track, bro. I love the space vibe. I love the just sweet vibe that it gave off. It was nice, bro. Really nice track. Track nine, Coco, featuring Don Tolliver. Okay. Bro, the, the production is so weird on this album. It's so freaking like manic and colorful and just sporadic it's like it's so dope hey how's don gonna come on this pause bro this beat this beat is crazy hey let's go let's go tolliver okay Bro, it sounds like an intense freaking rodeo, bruh. Bro, it's so lit. Okay, that jump was fast paced as freak, bro. But they was running that jump, bro. Don, he did his freaking thing. He did his thing, bro. I didn't know how he was gonna come on it, but he did his thing, bro. And freaking Keem, sporadic is just weird as always, bro. <laughs> Dope track. Um, track 10 is Family Ties featuring Kendrick Lamar. This is like the main big single from this joint. I already heard it. I already reacted to it on the channel. So if y'all want to see a full reaction to that, I mean, it's, it's right it's right there. It's right there. But uh, right now, yeah, we're going to get a little taste. We're going to get a little taste. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Amazing, brother. Pop off only on occasion, brother. <laughs> All right, track 11. Scars. Ooh. This piano keys are dope. I like this. Oh. What the freak? This sounds like some freaking. Sorry. This sounds like some freaking love a lockdown. What? Them drums came in heavy. I was not expecting that. Keem. Oh my Jesus. Jesus Lord. What? I'm too hot. I gotta take this off. God. Why does this sound so good? That track sounded freaking amazing. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? That junk felt like a huge scene in a movie where the main character is just lost themselves and 
they're just running in this deep forest or jungle and just running away from their problems like they don't know what to do it just felt like a big epic just scene like oh my gosh and he just he was just talking about his troubles and how like why you know he's just talking to god about like why do i make these decisions why do these people like everyone i meet like kind of like tear me apart or like i kind of ruin their lives or like you know just stuff just happening it oh my yo are you freaking serious that junk oh my oh my, that junk resin oh man track 12 was do rag activity with travis scott i already heard this song too it was like a single way back when we gonna get a little taste don't worry about it activity do rag activity if i still have my braids i would pull out my do rag right now but sorry Alright, track 13. Boomin. Or Booman. The production on this album is just so interesting. Whoa. The freaking mariachi kind of vibe to it. <laughs> These girls keep calling him handsome. Not gonna lie, y'all. Baby Keem ain't the most. Good looking dude I've seen, but shoot, bruh. He kind of ugly cute, so what you want, right? Sexy and yeah, I'm sexy and blessed too. Hell yeah. Oh, Barbarian. Yeah. Hey, Barbarian, where Dave at? Bro, like, shout out to the producers in this, who worked on this album. Y'all did your freaking thing. Except for um pink panties. I don't know about that one, but y'all y'all need a round of applause, man. Like, I hope y'all getting paid good. Track 14, first order of business. Hey. Mm. Bro, like, this, this beat sounds so simple, but, like, it just packs that punch, bro. It, I, I, it, it just sound, it just sounds nice. And you said something about, like, you're going to be one to love me when I'm 40. I'm trying to have that. And I'm going to have that. That was for you. <laughs> when I met your sister, she said, this nigga's obnoxious. <laughs> But the room was way too noisy. Facts, bro. Yeah. Facts, bro. Some of these girls be so dang noisy. I'm like, stop. So <laughs> like, like I hate loud people, bro. I like soul food. Pussy tastes like soul food. That's why. Yeah. I don't know if I want, I want the freaking love portal that tastes like soul food. I don't. That's freaking real. Some macaron. I don't, I don't want it to be, you know? I don't know about that, Key. I like that track. Really nice, some straightforward, straight to the point track in um, lyrics and in um, instrumental. Really dope track, bruh. Track 15, Vent. Oh my gosh. Have I heard this? I think I heard this on a, I heard a snippet of this. So this is the, um, is that Kendrick? Bitch, two for Betty King, fucking me. I am here, huh? We don't fear, huh? Hey. hey I got a politics. This sounds so pay. cool. No apologies when I get paid. <clears throat> Bitch, ho, ho. Pussy yep. Pussy water, rock metal QC. Now it looks spooky. Ugh. Huh. That chunk was hard, bro. Yeah, I heard, I heard, like, I heard, like, snipp snippets of that before, but that chunk was hard, bro. <laughs> Kendrick, have you ever been punched in your mother effing face? <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> they, they ain't, they ain't playing no games. Track sixteen in the final track of the whole album. Sixteen. Let's give it a nice and solid listen. I wasn't expecting this. Nice little groovy track to end it all off. Okay. 
Cool. Come on, girl, let's dance. Get a little dance floor real quick. Don't be shy. Let's get it. I need some water. For real, bruh. People gotta stop saying sorry and done doing the exact same freaking thing. I'll be no I'll be saying sorry to the Lord and I'll be going to do the exact same thing. I'm like, freak, sorry, Lord. And then I go out and do it. But you know, just gotta be actually sorry, bruh. Like, if like, oh man, I'm so sorry that I'm doing this, then you're going to keep doing the thing, like. Like, come on now. You ain't sorry. Show me the action. Lord, I'm going to show you the action this time for real. Amen. All right. That was The Melodic Blue by Baby Keem. And I have to say, bro, I, I honestly really freaking enjoyed this album, bro. I knew I was going to enjoy it. I was like, I know I'm going to enjoy this. But it's just that I wasn't expecting, like, it to be like this this is one of the most like let's talk about the production first of all this is one of the most trans like transformative and just acrobatic and just weird and manic production i've heard in a while bro like it's like it's it, it has a solid idea but then it just kind of like spreads out and kind of like does something weird and just like goes out and just transforms randomly. But it feels like natural at the same time because some some songs just feel like three or four different songs, but like they kind of like flow together and kind of like even when it's abrupt, it's not like it doesn't feel like like awkward. It just feels like oh, you know, it just hits you like wow, I didn't expect that like. The production was just so colorful. Like, it looks just like like freaking album cover. There's like a whole he's sitting on a whole rainbow, like a whole rainbow dock. Like, just just so many colors and moods within this freaking joint, bro. This was so dope. And Keem, he was as sporadic as the freaking instrumentation, bro, man. Just doing his thing with the freaking like lines you be talking about, talking about the women he hit and just like doing having all these crazy lines, bro. And like just the amount of inflections he's doing, like he's really taking off for his freaking cousin, like doing these different um inflections and really like spitting at times, bro. Like, and also he's getting his little melody bag, though they're not all winners, but yeah, bro, he's it's pretty decent. And like, bro, it's just he has such a manic and just off kilter vibe to him, and kind of pimpy too, like, bro, Kendrick. He did his thing on 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 the songs he was on, and it was freaking weird, bro. Freaking top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. What the freak was that? And freaking like, bro. <laughs> and Don Tolliver, he did his thing too. And Travis, I like the way he flowed on freaking um, Durag Activity. The features did their thing. It was a really just very sporadic album, bro. Really dope. Oh man, I just. I guess like one thing I guess I guess there was a bit more focus within like some of the tracks and stuff and pink panties eh, I don't know about that one you know but and also the ending the way it ended though uh, he's talking about closure I don't know how I feel about like uh, that whole groove track to be honest though I, I do like the like you know kind of um therapeutic and closure as track he was on you know with within the lyrics of that last song but not not bad but you know but yeah bro that's how i'm feeling on this album and let me um if y'all made it to the end please leave a like and subscribe if you're new you know me like let me know what y'all feel about this album in the comment section below i'm gonna be listening to this junk a lot bro oh my god this was this was a fun listen thank you guys so much for watching making it to the end i love y'all so freaking much <laughs> Baby I just pause on walking y'all up in the fucking beach crush I just flew to Italy to grab a slice of pizza We just living different but to you that doesn't mean much I just heard your album hold your know you kinda stink right?